<laughs> Hi, and welcome to <laughs> Wrong Way. Today we're gonna test two wheels for under a thousand dollars. The Inmotion V8 and the King Song 16S. Let me tell you more about it. Wrong Way. <laughs> it was on purpose. So let's start with the specs of these wheels. The King Song 16S is actually a special version by Shift 7. So it has a 420 watt hour battery, 1200 watt nominal motor, which is a different configuration. The Emotion V8 is pretty standard, a 480 watt hour battery and the 800 watt nominal power motor. Uh, on paper, the King Song looks way faster because peak power is higher at over 2000 watts and the Inmotion V8 has around 1200 watts of peak power. But as we tested with Tomek, who is behind the camera, and thanks to him for uh, letting me shoot this video, uh, actually the acceleration is pretty similar and the top speed on both of these wheels is around 30 kilometers per hour. And now we're gonna do the acceleration test. Hopefully nobody dies. It was on the edge, on the edge. As you could see, we were accelerating really similarly. The pedals actually tilted forwards too much and, and your wheel as well. And I, when I get uh, tilted back, it was really, really hard. It's really hard to feel when you are accelerating too hard on a King Song. Okay, let's try again and you're, switch wheels. If you are not afraid. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Whoa. <laughs> Guys, you, you, don't, you don't want to accelerate very fast on those wheels. Yeah, uh, it's, it's really terrifying, but I think the King Song is actually a bit more terrifying than the In Motion. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, this is still <laughs> recording. So, uh, I was riding on the V8 for about one year now. Uh, and I'm ready for it. <laughs> I'm ready for this what happened. Both of the wheels can manage a time of 1.5 seconds up to 2 seconds from 0 to 20 km per hour. So pretty fast. Also the top speed can be reached really quickly. Anyways, uh, we have a hill here. The climbing angle of this slope is around 15 degrees. Yep. And we'll just try to get up there with the V8 and the King Song. And the uh, grass is wet and slippery. Go! It's nice to know you. <laughs> Bye! Okay. So first the King Song. Okay. Easy. I have to say that I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> you want to try it on the king side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's check it. For me, it was more comfortable on the in motion, but on the king song, you can grip it way better with these side pads. For me, it was much better on King Song. I had this feeling that I have a little bit more power, but maybe it's just uh, in my head. Okay, but they managed. They managed. This uh, hill has around 25, uh, 25 grade. Five yeah, degrees. 25 degrees. So it's 10 degrees more than we tried before. Ah, it handled. Easy. Very nice. And brakes also well it's way easier to grip the king song than the emotion oh. because the pedals don't tilt on the emotion it feels 
a bit easier to climb this hill. Adam, we, we managed to climb those two hills, so we have to try something steeper. Yeah, let's check it out. Maybe there. <laughs> we try to climb this ugly hill. More than 30 degrees. I'd have to try once more. Let's check that. Really cool. That's the scary part when you lose traction, right? It's all about in here, not about the wheel. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so it can it, it can manage. It can manage. Definitely no scooter at this price can do it. Okay, so now KS. Oh yeah. Okay. Ready? No. Ready? Let's, let's do it. <laughs> Be caution. Overpower. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's way easier to grip. That's the bonus. And one time the pedals also went a bit down. So it was really overpowered. But in terms of comfort, way better on the on the King Song. <laughs> Be caution. Overpower. Ah. I don't know. I don't know if it if it counts. You you touch the ground. Yeah, I touched it. <laughs> oh come on. Okay. <laughs> the pedals tilt really hard on the King Song. I like it way more on the V8. Really scary. Ah! And as a bonus. MCM5. Whoa! <laughs> we count it! Both of the wheels are 16 inch wheels, but the tires are a bit different. So on the King Song, we have a 16 inch by 2.125 inch tire, and here is a 16 inch 1.95 tire. So the tire on the V8 is a bit thinner, which uh, in my personal opinion results in more comfortable riding at higher speeds. But uh, the King Song is, in my opinion again, a bit more nimble, to a bit more grip here also on turns. And all in all has also more grip when riding off-road. Here you can see the both tires. When it comes to the pedals, actually on the Inmotion V8 they're a bit higher, but uh, on the KS16S they're higher than on the Kingsong 16B, which is different than this one. This is the KS16S but with a smaller battery. Pedals on the Kingsong are tilted a bit more. You can see that they're lower on this side and the Inmotion has overall just a bit higher pedals but with less angle. I prefer angled pedals as for turns, I like it way more, but for longer rides, I think the V8 is more comfortable. The V8 is a little bit higher. Oh yeah. Overall. Yep. Both pedals are with the sandpaper, but in my opinion, the King Song has a bit grippier with bigger ridges on the sandpaper. And this part is just for closing the pedal without scratching the Enclosure of the wheel, same thing on the Emotion. Both pedals are not magnetic, so it takes a little bit of force to close them and it would be difficult to open them just with the, f with the foot. Ah, here we can also see that the King Song is a bit wider than the Emotion V8. So I can grip the King Song tighter, as you can see, than the Emotion wheel. Both of the wheels are pretty light. They have both also lift sensors. The Inmotion V8 is 13.6 kilograms and I think it's a bit lighter to carry. And the button for uh, disabling the motor is also underneath the handle so it won't break. And on the King Song, it's actually the trolley handle with which you will lift the wheel. Sometimes these things break. I think the solution on the Emotion V8 is a bit more robust. And the King Song wheel is a bit heavier at uh, 15 kilograms. So in terms of carrying and portability, I'd give it to the Emotion V8. Here we can see the trolley handles. About the same height. 
both. No, I think in motion it's a little bit higher. Okay, so the in motion is a bit higher perhaps, yeah, possible. But the King Song is bigger. So in terms of trolley handle, it's I think it's very similar. But maybe the trolley handle on the King Song is easier to take out. Look, this is V8 and you can comfortably put it against the wall. And this is KS. When you have to really watch out where you put this handle, because sometimes it moves. Look at those lights, man. They are so cool. The side lights, but the emotion is way more visible than the King Song. I like it that you can change it and customize it uh, in your own way. Yeah. Now let's talk about the uh, other aspects of usability. Both wheels come standard with. I think this is not okay. It was oh. it was used for one year, so. <laughs> so, anyways, we have. This annoys me because on the motion you have to make a short press to turn on or turn off the wheel, and on the King Song it's the right way round. You have to press it long for turning it on and off and short for the light. So I think this is better on the King Song. Anyways, let's talk about the lights. We think that the light on the King Song is brighter. We have to check it on a darker in a darker area, but the King Song. It's just shaped like an egg and uses it to its advantage. So when you go this way round, you have the light in the front. And if you go the other way round, backwards, you also have the light in the front. So each side is equipped with brake lights and front lights. On the rear of the Emotion V8, we have just a small, it's almost not like a light. It's just a Emotion symbol, which is very hardly visible in the night. On the King Song, we have a well visible like this rear light. In terms of lighting, I'd give it to the King Song. Both wheels are also ex equipped with a speaker. Actually, on the V8, we have a single speaker and you can configure all the sounds of the wheel. So, for example, if you're going too fast, you can record a different sound on the app and we'll tell you just something like Thomas recorded. <laughs> Which is entertaining. But uh, you can't play music on uh, on this wheel, and it's also just a mono speaker, so just a single fire inch speaker. On the King Song, we have stereo speakers, so you can also play music and also have the warning sounds. But here they are not configurable, like on the In Motion. What do you think of the quality of the speaker? Um, I think it's very good inside uh, of the building, but when you are outside and when you are near to the, I don't know how to say, yeah, busy street, busy yeah. street, it's not not so uh, hearable. I think there's also a bit of bass here, but loudness could be better. But actually, I think it's better or on par oh, with the Emotion V10. Um, yeah, no, maybe a bit quieter. You cannot compare it for sure to Gotway Nikola. Yeah, the Nikola <laughs> is like the loudest thing ever. This is the support. City Plus. It's not the electric support. urban. We're not the support. Uh, both wheels. Weep, 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 weep. Quack. No, just this one quacks. Have lighting on a side. First, let's talk about the lighting on the King Song. So here we have the battery indicator, which is phenomenal. It's one of the favorite things I like about the King Song. And when you're rolling, you have just some sort of pattern, and you can change the patterns in the application. So now let's turn on the light in the in-motion. Yes, Adam, let's turn on the light. Okay, I'll just <laughs> press this and this. Oh. Haha! -ha! <laughs> That's the trick. You have to press the power button and the lift sensor at the same time. I think this is actually more visible than the King Song in the night. You can also configure it. I really like the app, uh, the in-motion app for the light patterns. So you can configure it to your own, uh, own designs each frame by frame. I really like that a lot. And uh, sadly, it does not show the battery indication, but it's here in the front. So as you ride, you can check your battery just by looking down.
Let's talk about riding on these wheels. Both of the wheels are pretty similar in terms of acceleration and top speed. Uh, when it comes to hard acceleration, I prefer the Emotion V8. It feels like it has a bit more torque than the King Song. Or maybe it's just a feeling, because when you accelerate hard on the Emotion, the pedals stay flat and you can overpower it to just shift them just for a while, but then they come straight up. And on a King Song, the, the pedals go down as you accelerate. So I feel like the ride experience on the V8 is more torquey and, and the pedals stay flat. And on the King Song, they move, they move around a bit, which, which scares me a, a bit, so, so to speak. I also prefer the wider wheel of the King Song 16S because uh, it feels more agile. It feels, I, f I feel the grip better and off-road as well it feels better for me than the Emotion. The Emotion is a bit more comfortable also at higher speeds than the King Song but we have uh, different opinions on that with Thomas who is behind the camera and we'll swap soon for for you guys to have another perspective on this topic. Uh, when it comes to the tilt back, I feel like uh, the tilt back on the Inmotion V8 is a bit more comfortable, it goes a bit slower but maybe also higher up than the King Song. The King Song just throws you up and it's it's quite scary. So this was my opinion and this is Thomas's opinion. Okay guys, so this will be my opinion about those two wheels. I was riding on the Inmotion V8 for more than 1000 kilometers. It's not very much, but it's something, yeah? It was my first wheel and I love it. You know how it is with the first love, it can, it can hurt you. I changed it to KS for uh, 16S uh, with this 4, 420 battery. There is a lot of differences. Uh, it behaves different on the turns. The KS uh, it's more like train, maybe it's because of the wider we, uh, wider tire. It's sometimes like it goes with uh, its own with its own direction. The, on the V8 you have total control, you can turn in one place uh, and it doesn't tell you where you have to go. Uh, in the terms of acceleration, on the V8 it's you, when you want to accelerate, uh, the only thing you have to do is like lean forward and it goes. On the KS 16S, you have this weird feeling that you have to push your toes on the front of the pedals to accelerate. For Adam, it's a little bit scary and uh, he's not uh, comfortable with this feeling. V8 is only 800 uh, watt motor and a KS 16S is 1200, yeah? So, in my opinion, it's a little bit safer. When it comes to charging, both wheels charge at around four and a half hours. The charging port on the King Song is here on the top. Same thing, basically, on the Emotion V8. When it comes to range of the wheels, both of the wheels should get you up to 40 kilometers when driving slowly and on flat surfaces. On top speed and hills, probably it's around 20 kilometers. The King Song has a small battery disadvantage because it has 60 watt hours less capacity. So if you're still here, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to see more content like this. And I'll see you in the next video.